Hey, Paul from Arrowhead here. I want to tell you a little bit about our beginner hammock kits and show you how it sets up, how everything connects and goes together. Be able to get you started and get you up off the ground real quick with Arrowhead equipment. Let's check out everything you get in the kit. When you get a new hammock kit from Arrowhead equipment, it's going to come in a post office box, all sealed up, ready to go. When you open it up, you're going to have all the basic equipment you need to get started with hammock camping. You're going to have your hammock here. We've got Marlin Spike Whoopie Sling Suspension Kit with an adjustable ridge line. We've got a Jarbridge Underquilt. We've got a Hug Bug Net, a foot pad, a ridge line organizer, and a sap sack to be able to put your straps and toggles in and store them. So let's check out how everything goes together. We'll start by attaching the Whoopie Slings to the hammock with the ridge line. We're going to start off with the hammock and getting the whoopee slings attached to it to set up our suspension. You can see that our hammocks come with a double-ended stuff sack that's appropriate size, fits the hammock very well, but there is room to compress that hammock down so it fits whatever shape in your pack you need it to. So we're going to start off, we'll open up one end of the sack here. We're going to pull out the end of the hammock. On the end of the hammock you'll see that we've got a channel for the slings to feed through from one end to the other. So we'll grab our whoopee sling, which has a fixed loop. We'll take that fixed loop, pass it through the channel. We're gonna feed that all the way from one end through to the other. So just scrunch it up and slide it through. Just work it along. Move the slack as you need it to, and feed until you get to the opposite end of the hammock. Okay, now we've got sling sticking out through both sides of the hammock. While we've got it like this, we're going to go ahead and attach one end of our adjustable ridge line. We'll do that by slipping that over this tail that's coming out the hammock. Now we're going to take the rest of that whoopee sling and feed it through itself, through that loop. And we'll begin by then just scrunching everything down nice and tight, work it around. And you wanna to try to not pinch the fabric in the sling right here. But that end is set and ready. Now we'll move to the other end and get it attached and set up. We'll be ready to hang the hammock. Now that we have our whoopee sling and our ridge line attached on one end of the hammock, we're going to move to the other end and attach our second sling. So I'll just pull this out of the stuff sack fully so that I can get to that other end. And repeat the process that we did on the first end. We're going to take our whoopee sling with fixed loop on the tail, pass it through the hammock here, through that channel, slide it all the way through, and we'll attach the ridge line the same method. Now we've got both ends of this whoopee sling. I'm going to go ahead and grab the second end of my ridge line. This one's the end with the adjustable loop. I'm going to repeat exactly what we did on the first end. Put that full loop right over one side and pass the long end of the whoopee sling through. We'll cinch everything down. Just kind of work it down in place, pulling that good and secure. Now that we've got everything attached to the hammock, we're ready to move to the trees, put our suspension straps on, tie a marlin spike hitch, and hang the hammock. We'll do that right now. We use tree straps on all hammocks as you show a good stewardship to the land. Hammocks just tied to the trees with ropes could cause compression of the layers of the tree, potentially causing damage to them. Many areas and states, parks, and other recreation areas require straps to help protect the trees. So included with your suspension system for the hammock kit will be a set of seven foot long tree straps. They have a loop sewn into one end, you lash that around the tree, and then we'll tie a marlin spike hitch. Let's demonstrate that now. We're going to use these toggles to set that up.
So let's take a look at setting up our tree straps. If you take a look at these straps, they have loops sewn in on one end, and the other end is just free and loose so that we can work with that. To set them up on a tree, simply pass it around behind the tree, come around and pass the tail through that sewn loop. Feed it all the way through. Now when we do this, we'd like to have the strap pulled off to one side. You can notice now that it pulls nice and straight in line and we get maximum friction. When we move that centered on the tree, you'll notice we create a bend in the strap. We prefer to avoid that because that increases the stress on the strap. So just simply slide it off to one side and cinch it tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and tie that Marlin spike hitch. So we'll need our toggles. We'll grab one of those. They're nice and bright red, so that should you drop them on the ground, you can easily find them again. But to tie the Marlin spike hitch, simply take and twist the strap, forming a loop. Now we'll take that loop, and we'll go up with it, and we'll grab the strap behind that loop and pass the toggle through there. That's the Marlin spike hitch. We'll just cinch everything down by pulling down on the strap. That forms the hitch. This toggle is secure. It's not gonna slip out. It'll hang there all day long should we need it to. But when we're done, we simply pull that toggle out and you'll notice the knot falls away with no effort at all. Let's do that one more time. We'll take and we'll form a loop. We're gonna bring that loop up, get our finger behind that strap. It's above the loop and then simply just pull everything down nice and secure. Now when we hang our whoopee sling, we'll hang it on the knot up here. We don't want it draped on the toggle. It's just there to hold the hitch. The sling will actually drape right over our knot that we've formed here. Let's take a look at setting that up and attaching those whoopee slings now to the strap and hanging it there. When we set our tree straps to the tree, we want to adjust them so that their head height are slightly above. Depends on your spacing on the trees. We want to pick trees that are around 15 foot apart. They could be a little less or a little more than that. But that's good spacing and it'll give you good hang angles. So to start off with, we attach our tree straps and move them to the round head height. For me personally, I like them a little bit higher because I like a good amount of sag in this hammock. All right, now that we've got our tree straps set and adjusted to a round head height, they're slightly above. We've got our toggle tied in place on that Marlin spike hitch to hold everything together. We're gonna go ahead open up our double-ended stuff sack again. On one end, we'll pull out our whoopee slings here. The first one, we'll take it, the large adjustable loop, and we're gonna hang it right up here on the knot. Not on the toggle, on the knot. If we hang on the toggle, we potentially could bend that, but we want it to hang right on the knot up here where the bulk of the webbing is looped together. We're gonna start off with the spacing here I'm going to take a little slack out of this. We are using an 11 foot hammock, which is pretty good for this size spacing. I'm going to get that secured there. We'll move to the other end and attach it over the toggle and knot. So again, looking at our Marlin spike hitch here, we can see that we have the knot formed all the way on both sides. We're going to take our whoopee sling here in our hand. We're going to pass it over the toggle. Pull that tail of the strap up out of the way. And we'll want the sling, as you can see, it's on the knot. So that when your weight is on the hammock, the weight and pressure is pushing right here on the top of the knot. If we were to put it over the toggle, something like that, potentially the toggle could bend from stress at this point. Right here, there's next to no weight and pressure on the toggle other than the compression of the knot. So we'll take now we're going to grab the tail of our whoopee sling here and we're going to adjust it. We're just going to slide that up. If you notice, we can grab the other side here to slide it out and lengthen everything. But for our setup, we're going to shrink that up. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and it's called milk the berries. You can see as I squeeze my and run my fingers over it like that, it stretches this part the berry of the whoopee sling out a little bit. And that ensures that it's getting a good grip on our standing line and that it will hold secure and won't slip on us at any point when we hop into the hammock. So now we've moved over to the second end of the hammock. 
We've gotten out, out of the stuff sack. We've adjusted our loop a bit here. We're just gonna bring it again, bring that adjustable loop up and over everything and hang it on the knot. So then we'll adjust anything we'd like. Tweak our hang just a little bit. 